This is a quick video about uh, how Spirit Covenant works. Now I have Spirit Covenant. You can see it right here. Um, to use it, <coughs> you can click on Retrieve Buff uh, in a multiplayer dungeon or a solo uh, dungeon of some sort, uh, like a Necropolis or um, Catacombs. Doing so will give you this buff that lasts for 30 minutes. Uh, it's nice to be able to use that buff um, and then do TOK, Spire, and uh, Necropolis uh, or Catacombs, whichever you're doing, uh, all at once. So uh, right before I start the attack at Spire, I'll hit Retrieve Buff. We'll finish that. We'll go straight to TOK, and then I'll have blitzed uh, Catacombs or um, or Necropolis earlier to the very bottom, and then I'll just go straight in and start the fight. Another function that's available to you is the um, uh, ability to uh, retrieve all your stamina from the altar here uh, instantaneously. So you go to the statue, you hit begin, and then if you have Spirit Covenant, you just hit speed up, and you gain all the stamina. Uh, if it if you um, are about to max out, let's say you had 180 stamina, you max out at 200. It'll only give you 20 and it'll leave 40 in the bottom. So uh, you'll have 200, which is fine. So uh, more about the Spirit Covenant. I just took a break to uh, do tanks. Um, you have the Bounty Helper. Now this is uh, extremely nice. Uh, it lets you complete bounty quests instantly. Um, which means that you don't have to go running around trying to uh, fight 30 monsters of the same level or like in ten, 12, 10 levels of you uh, and, and all these silly requirements. Um, the one disadvantage is you can't do the uh, the whack-a-mole thing, uh, which is kind of fun. Or the QTE if you like that. Um, free Blitz. This one is extremely nice as well. I can go to Catacombs. I can Blitz. Doesn't cost me any gold. That's just what I'm going to do. Uh, power of Healing. This one uh, I found is the least uh, useful of the buffs, except when you're doing things like Guild Battle. Um, because uh, at higher levels, especially, um, when you die and you need to replenish your health, or when you lose some health and you need to replenish, it takes a lot more at higher levels. Uh, for me, I, I go through uh, 58,000 uh, at a time. Lower levels will be going through 10,000 at a time, and just one of those uh, bigger HP potions will give you 500,000, I believe, which will last quite a long time. Uh, in guild battle, if you are running around and you are not at full health, then you are at a huge disadvantage. So that is one reason why you should have, should have power of healing. Um, Warrior's Call will get you farther in uh, Catacombs and Acropolis, and is extremely useful. It's an investment early on. That's why it was the first thing I bought. I, I bought the buffs individually. So you can do from the shop in cards. Uh, you have the Spirit Covenant for $12.95. Um, and then the individual buffs. The, when I when I did it, I was like, "Hey, I like Warrior's Call. That's useful. I like Free Blitz. That's useful." And I bought them one at a time. Eventually, I was like, "Ah, oh, I kind of want Lord of Time uh, because it'll just save me a lot of time." And I bought that. Uh, fortunately, um, uh, the days stack up so that you don't have to like every time you add Spirit Covenant, it just adds 31 days to each buff. It doesn't add the entire covenant. Um, and replace the days that you had, starting them at 31. 